What's good everybody? It's your boy DJ Blaze and I'm kicking in the lab to give you a full video review of the all new DJ Tech DJM 303 Professional 2 Channel Mixer with USB. Check it out. Okay everyone, well here it is, the DJ Tech DJM 303 2 Channel Professional Twin USB DJ Mixer. And this is the first impressions and setup section of the review. And first impressions of the DJ Tech DJM303 are very, very good. This is a super solid mixer. It's built like a tank, a completely um, metal construction in the housing. And again, it's very heavy. All the components that are put into this mixer feel very good. Everything feels high quality and top shelf. Um, along with that, you know, you got some good faders here. You got good good knobs everything has a good feel to it and you really feel like you're getting a very high quality product when you're using the DJ Tech DJM 303 these are on sale for 500 bucks you can find them in the states and the price you'll see is definitely worth it so along with first impressions we'll go to the setup the setup was fairly easy for the DJ Tech DJM 303 all you have to do is plug in your inputs and outputs on the back here um, I used my RCA connections over with my audio 10 and in order to use this mixer with other software without DVS you'll have to use the USB ports found on the back of this unit there's two USB ports here USB port 1 corresponds to channel 1 and USB port 2 corresponds to channel 2 the system comes with your choice of Decadance or Tractor 3 LE in order to DJ files off of your computer directly over to your mixer. So you have two USB ports in the back of this unit and USB 1 will be used for channel 1, USB port 2 will be used for channel 2 and you will then be able to play music back from your computer your computer files you will drag and drop them into the software either channel 1 or into the software of channel 2 or deck 2 and you will be able to use all of your fader controls your effects your your samples your EQ's everything will still work on this mixer when it's paired up in that playback form of of digital DJing if you want to use a DVS software then these two US ports are not going to work for you you actually do need an external sound card type of device in order to do that which we have done here for this review and while you're using that type of device you'll still have all of your functions for your effects for your samples everything will still work just as intended on this mixer even if you are using an external sound card which I am in this case but the setup of the software is fairly easy if you want to use one of those two softwares that it came with the Decadance or the Tractor 3 LE I tested it out with Tractor 3 LE and we found that it was very easy to set up you do need two USB ports to plug into your laptop or your desktop computer in order to make that function correctly but once it's up and running, um, a DJ can just use just this unit along with his computer and the software that's provided to start DJing immediately. So big kudos to DJ Tech for allowing computer DJs to use this without using external decks. This is just my preference. So that adds to the versatility of the DJM 303 because it can be used as a standalone along with a computer device. It can be used as a traditional two channel mixer with extra additional inputs and it can just be used for easy playback or recording okay next up we'll talk about the inputs and outputs on the front you'll see we'll have the only headphone jack available which is only a quarter inch headphone jack on the back you'll see we have the balanced quarter inch outputs your power connection here one of those standard type AC in connectors your on off switch we also have the master and record output there is no booth output 
only master and record so you only get one volume control we also have a for channel 2 alone has its own ground post here for grounding your vinyl decks and it also has a switchable uh, input here RCA which is either line or phono level along with a CD or line level input as well so you get two inputs per channel same is true with channel one and you also get two microphone inputs here both X, both quarter inch connectors and you'll notice on the front here we have two mic volume knobs to control each one separately also with the inputs and outputs we have the two USBs that I was describing to you earlier USB 1 is for channel 1 USB 2 for channel 2 and you will need both if you want a computer play back your tracks using this mixer again these USB ports will not provide you with enough sound card power to power a digital vinyl system you will need an external sound card in order to power your digital vinyl system alright next up we'll speak on the faders and knobs and here we have your cross fader and your line faders and we'll dissect those first first of all I'm very surprised that this is one of the smoothest crossfaders that I've used in a long time on a mixer. This crossfader is very smooth. They say they're alpha style faders, but this feels better than almost any other alpha fader that I have used. It feels like it has a metal type construction in it. It's extremely smooth. It's very fast and it has a very low one millimeter cut in distance straight from the factory. So there's really no adjustments that you have to do if you're planning on cutting it up with this fader. You have your curve control switch here, which is either very sharp at its sharpest setting. Again, we have only a one millimeter cut in time for the fader. I was able to pull off all my crabs, my transforms, and any other complex, really fast fader movements. They all worked great. We also have your through setting, which is the setting where the crossfader has no bearing and you use your line faders in order for your fader adjustments also along with the fader the cross fader we have your fader start uh, switches here you turn these on if you're using CD decks and if you have the mini cable that plugs from your CD decks over into your mixer you can use the fader start option as soon as you move the fader to one side the deck on that side will start playing and same goes for this side as well so other than that we have the line faders and the line faders feel somewhat similar to the cross fader but not exactly the line faders feel like they're a little less quality here and you'll also notice that there are no adjustments whatsoever for your line faders so you're stuck with a long fade type type fader and they're not really meant for scratching here the cross fader is meant for, scr for scratching and you can definitely feel the difference in tension and, and overall feel there. For the knobs, we'll run down the knob feel and the EQs. The knobs are all the same. They have a nice oversized feel to them. They are a hard plastic. Um, we have a low, mid, and high EQ along with a gain knob. And we do have total kill option on all three of these frequency ranges. Also in the middle here you'll see we have the LED line level indicators. They can either be set to left and right or for channel 1 and 2. So you use the switch up here to either to either uh, monitor your master or your individual line levels. The Q section of the mixer is up here and as you can see when the Q section is in use you have to use the volume knob for the level in your headphones and you can select either master channel 1 or channel 2 or a combination of all three or both so you can hear everything coming out of your headphones or whatever you select over here using these Q banks up top we have a master level oversized knob just like the EQ knobs we also have your mic volume control 1 mic volume control 2 for your two separate microphone inputs on the back 
we have an EQ which will correspond to both mic inputs this is a low high one range type of knob so you'll be able to adjust your EQ here we have a microphone switch which will allow you to turn the microphone off on or in talk over mode to where all of your output will lower in volume so that you can talk over okay along with the actual channels themselves we have the selectable input knob or switch at the top and you can either toggle these between CD USB or phono line one and you can do a combination of the of the three so you can have one of these decks playing your PC files and the other deck can be playing your regular CDs or vinyl so you have a nice mixture of what you can do with each line on the fly okay next up we have the effects in the sampler section found on this mixer and this was one of my favorite parts about the DJ Tech DJM 303 definitely had to be the effects and we've got a lot of them here the effects are on board within the DJ Tech DJM 303 and you will still be able to use all of your effects even when using a DVS type software digital vinyl system or with any other software that you that you might have even the software that it comes with as well so you have full range over all of your sample and effect functions within the system so just to run it down we have a bunch of effects here we have the effect select knob and every time I switch this knob you see which different effect lights lights up so right from the top and over we have echo transform flanger filter phaser pan pitch reverb sampler and also a crossfader effect section there's three crossfader effects and these are basically effects that will turn on um, either automatically or you can set them to fader effects that means the effect will happen when your fader is actually pushed over to the middle or to the end depending on which deck is playing and which ones you have activated for the effect so along with the effects we have your big effects on off button here so you can see at a glance if your effect is on or off we also have a level depth or parameter fader here and again the effect select knob and now we have a channel select that way you can determine which channels are feeling your effect you can either have it set to channel one channel two even your microphone can be affected mic or master so everything that's coming out of the mixer will have that effect that you have selected also up top we have your BPM counter and this can be done automatically or you can press the tap button to find your exact BPM if this is off I never had to do that I used a, a bunch of tracks on this mixer and it was very accurate accurate enough to always read the correct BPM we have one two three four five buttons here and each of these five buttons will correspond to the frequency of your effect you have half at the top three-fourths one one for one two of one and four of one and these will also turn over into sample banks when you're using the sample the sample section of the effects you can only use sampler or effects one at a time one or the other you can't use the combination of both because sampler is somewhat like a type of effect here that's how they integrated it into the system we'll go over to trans That's transform. Echo. Next up, we have flanger. Filter. Phaser. Pan. Pitch.
crossfader effects. Next up, we'll talk a little bit more about the software mixing mode. And for software mixing, like I said earlier, we just use the two USB ports on the back, and we will plug this the two into any computer that has music on it, and then you'll be able to use Decadance or Tractor 3LE for audio playback on your two channels. The reason you have two USBs is one for each channel. And you can use your selector knob up here to change your output either from the USB or whatever you have coming out of the line over here. So when you have these set to USB, you will then be able to use your software in order to play with this mixer in external mixing mode and you will still be able to use all your effects, all your cues, all your your samples and everything that you have outlined here in the mixer will, will work nicely with the software. Very easy to set up. All you got to do is put the CD in and install as much like a printer. You just click next, next, next. The drivers were automatically loaded as soon as I plugged this sound cards into the computer. Didn't have to mess with any driver settings. I didn't have to set anything up within the software. Everything worked easily and perfectly right out the box first time. So in conclusion, the DJ Tech DJM303 two-channel professional twin USB DJ mixer was a very nice mixer. I'm somewhat surprised at the quality of this mixer. You know, it feels like a very professional piece and all the components that this was created with feel like a very professional, uh, uh, a very professional package. There are a lot of features here. It's chock full of features and I had a lot of fun using it. And it's definitely built like a tank. It's an all steel, all metal construction and everything feels like it's going to last a long time. The DJM303 is also very versatile. It can work as a standalone regular type mixer. It can also be used as a USB sound card interface or you can work with the combination of the two. The crossfader is very, very smooth and sturdy, has a very low cut in time of one millimeters, making it easy to do your cuts right out of the box. The DJ Tech DJM303 comes with Tractor 3 LE and Decadence, so a DJ can use the USB ports on the back to play music to each of the two channels in external mixer mode. So that also adds to the versatility, meaning a beginner DJ or someone else can just grab this mixer and just start playing right off the top. They don't need to buy any other decks or anything else like that. It also has nice sound quality. Each EQ section has its own full kill. And it also has a very, very good and robust effects section here. Lots of effects, lots of cool things you can do with those. On the downside, it's very hard for me to find faults with the DJM303. There are only two minor gripes that I can, I can look for. And the first one was the line faders being completely unadjustable. There are no adjustments for the line faders. And the other was that you couldn't use the USBs on board in order to play your DVS software. You will need an external sound card such as the Audio 10 that I have seen there. All in all, the DJ Tech DJM303 was a lot of fun to use, has a lot of features, and a lot more features than most other expensive two-channel mixers out there on the market today. We can re recommend this for scratch DJs, mobile DJs, professionals, and as well as beginner computer DJs because you get everything you need right out of the box to play your, your digital files right over this mixer. The DJM303 comes with everything including your two USB cables and your two popular DJ software to choose from. So all around it's a great mixing console, high quality components with lots of extras and options and it comes in at a good price point at about 500 bucks in the US. So. 
Keep it locked to DJBooth.net where we, we will be bringing you a bunch more reviews, news, and everything DJ equipment related. The blog site, which is updated Monday through Friday, is DJBooth.net slash DJS for DJs. Check me out on Twitter at DJBlaze underscore DJBooth. And also check out the YouTube channel. R username is RealDJBlaze. Thanks for watching.